if they're skeptical, it's usually because they don't really know uh, a lot of the facts behind the reason for why I do what I do. Um, and they're usually really responsive to learning a little bit about the cannabinoid system. They're very open to understanding that the endogenous cannabinoid system exists, that taking in plant-derived or synthetic or prescription pharmaceutical cannabinoids is modulating an existing system, that it's an important system for human physiology, and that really um, what we're doing with research is discovering new tools to try to utilize this system as a way of improving people's quality of lives. Um, and that usually they recognize the fact that we are limited in terms of therapies that we have available. And, and I work in a chronic pain clinic, so we're limited in terms of pain therapies that we can offer to patients. So there's what's called a, a therapeutic need. Um, so uh, an unmet therapeutic need. And so this is simply a new avenue that's opening up for us to explore. Now, some of the tools that we have to, to, to explore this avenue are what you might call blunt tools, you know, single-agent cannabinoids, synthetic single-agent cannabinoids, herbal cannabis uh, through its delivery system, which may be considered a dirty one if you like smoking or you know, it's been cleaned up a little bit with vaporizers and so on, but it's still early days in finding other ways of administering herbal cannabis. Um, but I think we're really at the beginning of a, of a new way of thinking about disease and a new way of approaching it. Uh, so I think they're usually very grateful to have some knowledge and some explanation as to what the real basic science understanding is. And the other thing that, that I tell them is that there's a, a, so another stream coming into this, which is the patients stepping up saying, listen, I'm using this and I have been using it for a long time. Um, and when you couple the patient reports with the basic science knowledge that this is, there's a mechanism for why they're telling us that it works, you get this beautiful sort of synchronicity of patients saying it helps, basic scientists saying this stuff looks fantastic, you guys should study it in the clinic, and now we have the opportunity to do that with the existing pharmaceuticals, with herbal cannabis products that are quality controlled and so on. So. It's more a question of saying we're not here to advocate that everyone's going to benefit. It's not a miracle drug for everybody, but there are clearly patients who may be cannabinoid responsive. Here are some tools to help you work with those patients and some ways that you can deal with uh, and interact with them and educate them. For a lot of patients, for a lot of physicians rather, who are skeptical, it's because they don't know. Uh, it's because they feel like their patients are coming into them, telling them more about this than they know themselves. And uh, that, for many physicians, is a little bit of a challenge to their uh, to their egos, if you like. Uh, they feel like, hey, whoa, um, you know, I should be the one with the knowledge. So they're very comfortable to get that information. Um, and to that extent, we've begun a, a series of physician education programs in Canada based on the, the knowledge base that's now generated in the last 10 years in cannabis research, in cannabinoid research in general. Um, we have no way more now than we did 10 years ago. There are clinical trials in MS, in fibromyalgia, in rheumatoid arthritis, in cancer pain, uh, in neuropathic pain, uh, which didn't exist 10 years ago. So when you show them the data, they start to think, well, that's the language that I can speak. I, I, I get that now. Uh, so they begin to see the, the evidence and that, that's important. So what we're doing is taking this knowledge and trans translating it out into the community, knowledge transfer, uh, out to the primary and the specialist physicians in the Canadian uh, landscape uh, from coast to coast through small case-based accredited CME activities and this has been a fabulously successful project. It's, it's fascinating to hear physicians come and sit around and tell stories that they've had and the successes they've had with, with some of the pharmaceutical drugs, with some of the herbal cannabis, with the medical marijuana programs and, and have them interact and teach each other. Uh, it's been a very, very rewarding experience.